Fashion with the Made in Kazakhstan label. The leading and aspiring Kazakh fashion industry designers. Fashion Week reviews, the latest trends and pointers from the stylists. All your news from the world of fashion and beauty on Fashion Guide. Before Fashion Week series comes around in Kazakhstan, Central Asia Fashion International Exhibition traditionally kickstart the new fashion season. This time, 200 brands from 16 countries of the world took part in fashion shows. Our brand, Echo, is a brand of women evening and everyday wear and cocktail dresses. We have been already seven years on the Moldavian market. As we are from Moldova, we now we are gradually entering the international market. On the runway, Evgenia Khudorshkov presented Fall Winter Collection, which is dedicated to the modern woman. His heroine experiments with textures and combines paleots with velvet, silk with chiffon, and organza. Night New York was the inspiration for the collection, thus is the dark palette. First of all, there were fabrics that inspired us. Then the mood board was created itself and inspiration came from the city, the city of New York. There was turmoil, running and at the same time beautiful evenings. If Yevgeny is inspired by the megacity, then the designer Ludmila Pavlenko revives the trend for Vishivanka. It is a symbol of Ukrainian culture. Today, this fashionable piece can be seen on young girls, business women, politicians, and celebrities. We are looking for old ornaments that are suitable separately for women, men, and children. Or we do family looks. When the family is wearing it, it restores traditions that our ancestors had. These are traditions that were forgotten. There are not only embroidered shirts in a complete range, but also dresses and skirts. Embroidery became the main element also in the collection of Olga Valerieva. She presented the spring collection of coats. Spring is always the time for renovations and the idea for collections. As embroidery is in fashion now, then the hummingbird is in our collection. This is brightness, lightness and beauty. The fashion show set the tone not only for fall winter but also for spring season. Each participating country presented its vision of trends. So a huge collection of clothes and shoes appeared before Kazakhstani fashionistas for the next few months. Off season is just the time for a coat. This year designers presented different kinds of this outerwear that there is a temptation to buy several models at once. There are loose fitting, long, meaty, slim fit and free models. You can choose options for every taste. The main idea is that the thing should remain feminine. In the new season, fashion designers have tried excellently and now you can look elegant and sophisticated even in oversized clothes. Kazakhstani fashion designers also presented a line of coats for autumn winter period. Each fashion designer has creatively used trends. As a result, there are a lot of attractive options. Recently, there is a trend on free size and oversized coat. This coat is suitable for both slender and plump women. These coats are very fashionable. We try to do the templates clearly so that the sitting is good and it will be comfortable to wear it. We use Italian fabrics also. These are cashmere and wool. Alpaca fabrics are in short supply, but we find it, and so. Cozy, warm materials are one of the main trends of the fall-winter season. Despite the conformity to world trends, Kazakhstani designers always bring national color to their creations. Special decor, prints and applications will differentiate the hostess of this coat from others. We use soutache embroidery in national style. These were Kazakh national weaves. We also use Swarovski beads and stones. It looked very stylish, beautiful and modern. And our national color was also visible.
There were blue, black, beige, brick, red, as well as checkered prints. Colors are practical, but not boring. Designer Nazim Karpikova decided to stay true to the monochrome tones. In her new collection, white and black coats predominate. Nevertheless, Nazim advises paying attention to more intense shades. There were colors of Bordeaux, Marsala, gray and also the black color. Black color is always a classic, it will always be in demand. Also, there are a lot of colorful and bright fabrics in which are both flowers and abstraction, and prints in the forms of squares. These coats are also in demand. The coats of designer Ahmad Al Dikhanbayeva have turned into genuine works of art. She combined two different materials in her collection. It was warm, practical and artistic. The coat itself is a natural cashmere. Felt and wool are stuffed manually and the entire print is achieved. All of this is made at the stage of cutting and then the coat is tailored. Prints in this collection are another story. What a waste to hide this thing in the closet. For Akmaral, coats have become a great field for creativity. When these things will go the way of all good things, they perhaps can be sent to the museum. Generally, I am inspired by paintings of Japanese and Chinese artists. I like how they prescribe mountains, rivers and their landscapes. And I began to draw sketches and I got such a chaotic and smooth drawing. Although I was inspired by Japanese and Asian artworks, but in the end something ethnic came out, in a sense, more Kazakh. Active work with prints also determined the color preferences of the designer. Akmaral stopped on a strict black color in order to make the drawings not be lost on the background of bright fabrics. I tried on gray and beige cashmere. Anyway, it does not look impressive and I like that everything looks clear on black. It is as if you paint on a white canvas, the same thing for me is a black fabric. I can come up with my print on such a black color, everything comes out clearly and beautifully. For now, you can do without a down jacket and a fur coat. Take advantage of the moment and diversify your wardrobe with a coat. Today, they are worn with any clothing from jeans to evening dresses. This freedom of choice inspires the endless fashion experiments. Today's children's fashion becomes on par with adult fashion. Caring for their daughters and sons, parents try to find things that are functional, comfortable and quality, but still beautiful and stylish. Designer Victoria Azerbaeva helps to cultivate a sense of taste to the child. Her children's brand is two years old, but the brand has already gained popularity among mommies. The main idea is adult wear, but it is adapted to the child's figure. Naturally, I have nothing mega open, everything is very restrained and at the same time stylish. Many mommies ask if there is such a thing for them, but they are not adherents of mom-daughter collections. According to the designer's idea, small girls can repeat favorite mother's images. These are leggings with long shirts, oversized coats or tube skirts. Monochrome, simple lines, casual style, this is what stands out of, from Victoria's collections among a lot of ruffle, flowers and crimson colors. Designer proposes to dress children in casual clothes and bonded ensembles. There is no place for colorful prints in line. Victoria plays with a cut instead of it. She brings minimalism and geometry to the forefront. Barrel dresses are popular models now. They are presented in black and gray colors in our collection. They have such a nuance. It's a long sleeve and it has an upturn in the form of a glove. Each children's age group has its own features of body structure. Depending on them, designers create a common outline of children's costume appropriate to age, determine the shape, material and decoration. Детские размеры состоят из 11 размеров. 
Children's sizes consist of 11 sizes from 2 years to 13 years old. And when you design a model, you should not lose the style itself, the very idea to which you inspired. This is very laborious and takes a very long time. Accordingly, we must correctly approach the children's figure there are their own nuances. Children under six years old are preschool children. They have their own peculiarities in terms of necks and some kind of details. Considering the rapid growth of babies, they leave reserve of fabric when sewing, so that if necessary, the product can be lengthened. They use different materials for children's wear. The preference is given to natural tissues. I set a bar to myself in order to have cotton generally. Even if it is synthetics, I try to work with cotton backing fabric. After all, they are children, so it is necessary to feel comfortable. Nothing should stab and fit too tightly. Cotton is dominated for 90%. In children's fashion, child's desires are very important. Especially this applies to girls who are more attentive to the style. Therefore, when choosing clothes, you should follow not only practicality and your own taste, but also preferences of small fashionistas. Original accessories always generate interest. Among them, a special place is occupied by sotash decorations. For several reasons, they are at the peak of popularity. Famous fans of this technique are actress Sienna Miller, TV presenter Oprah Winfrey, model Bar Raffaele. In Kazakhstan, Sotach handicrafts starts to gain momentum. Aliana Kazbekova was the one who picked up on the world trend. This was love at first sight. I immediately wanted to do something. Moreover, my hobby grew slowly into my activity. Sotach is a thin, flat, flexible cord, fabric cord, tourniquet or ribbon. So touch decorations, where the cord is based on, are encrusted with different crystals, cabochons and beads. So touch technique originated in France in the early 14th century. Initially, women's dresses and accessories were decorated with such embroidery. Great contribution to the development of this art was made by Dutch masters, and the revival of Sotach embroidery fell on the 21st century. Today, necklaces, brooches, earrings, bracelets, handbags, and fans are made in this technique. Each product is unique. It is not duplicated and not released in lots. It is also possible to make different headwear, tiaras, combs of Sotach. It happens that girls order such jewelry. Now it is very fashionable to order jewelry in the Kazakh style for engagements. As for me, Sotach jewelry is something like our national jewelry. Manufacturing process requires accuracy and assiduity. Jewelry making is a very slow process and speed is not an assistant here at all. It takes several days to realize the idea. At first, you guess the design, I cannot draw, I have everything in my mind and in my thoughts. You cut the right pieces of this cord, it can be so touch of a certain color. You can combine different colors, then you braid. You can take the main element, a large crystal, a cabochon, and the rest of the drawing is already coming from it. Decorations in Sotach technique are a rich palette of colors and an abundance of natural stones and minerals. I began to make with Swarovski crystals Czech beads and rock crystal. Now it is fashionable to make earrings of shibori silk. In addition, it is possible to combine Sotach technique with the technique of jewelry wire. It all depends on the designer's imagination. The great advantage of Sotach decorations is their ease, despite the fact that they look sizable. The cord itself has almost no weight and the entire weight depends only on the number and size of the stones. Such jewelry will emphasize female charm and individuality. It will give grace and charm. Designer's work is a constant search for inspiration. Each new collection is always inspired by fresh impressions of its creator. 
Therefore, thanks to traveling, a few years ago, the first line of Kogamina brand accessories appeared. Designer Minako Koga is from Japan and she lives in France. However, you will see traditions not only of these countries in her products. In an easy state mind of Minako, old-fashioned furoshiki technique has acquired modern features and global character. Long, long time ago in Japan, the bag doesn't, didn't exist. We just used a square fabric to wrap thing and we carry by hand or maybe the, the men just stick on the wood and they carry like this because uh, um, how do you say the to put it on shoulder uh, how can i say we wear kimono you know kimono is we get this part so it was impossible to put the bags like this because we have this part so uh, it was only handbags in addition to furoshiki, Minako likes to create so-called Boston bags. These are capacious accessories with two handles, which are very convenient for traveling. Specially selected materials add exclusivity to the popular kind of bags. I work with a um, Japanese lady who is a, who is a specialist uh, um, in leather. So we work, we work together. And then this motif is uh, most popular uh, in, in France right now, maybe in Europe too. It's wave, yeah. And then wave is very good motif in Japan because uh, wave is never stop, always continue. So it's a symbol of uh, prosperity. When creating bags of simple form without unnecessary details, the main message falls on the fabric, more precisely on its drawing. In order to avoid banality and repetition, the designer began to seek inspiration in various cultures. The first and main source for ideas was Paris, with its multinational population. My neighbor, were, there were Afri um, African people actually, they were immigrants from Africa or African origin French people, and there was African fabric shops around there. So they, and then I first time I saw the the African fabric, like ladies wearing in uh, um, their costume, you know, the African design colors, and it was so nice. And, and that was the beginning of my bag creation. I got the passion. I want to make bags with that fabric. Since then, small colorful shops, oriental bazaars, flea markets around the world give Japanese French designer ideas for her creations. In the works of Minako harmoniously coexist materials and accessories from different countries. In France, I can find uh, um, all the French fabric, like a vintage one that I use, I also like. And not only from France, uh, like from Denmark or Finland. And then when we were in China, I found also uh, from uh, which province? Well, it's, uh, how do you call it? It's countryside, <laughs> but it's indigo, indigo color, real indigo hand-weaved fabric, which were very nice. I used, because it's strong also. And in Korea, um, it was by chance I, I found that fabric in the market. I found a fabric used for Korean Buddhist monk. It's a uh, kilt but uh, the color is uh, gray or mustard or very nice purple with a natural, uh, uh, natural dyed from plant. Chase for fresh ideas led Minako to Kazakhstan. In Astana and Almaty, the designer arranged a marathon across fabric shops and bazaars in order to find the original solutions. National Kazakh weaves conquered a foreign guest at a glance. You have very nice, uh, um, beautiful embroidery that I'm very much, in, in ter I'm very much in, interested in. But uh, it's already piece of art, so I cannot cut. So I'm wondering how can I make bag with that? Maybe I will make a tote bag. I don't cut, just a square shape. Yeah, it's very hard to, you know, to put the scissor where there is uh, love and then passion and then lots of work. So. After visiting Kazakhstan, the designer went to Uzbekistan. This country also struck Minako with an abundance of colors, patterns and handmade fabrics. By the end of the year, new models with pronounced Central Asian motifs 
are expected in the line of Kogamina bags.